Hi, I have a uh, I have bad news uh, to give you today or just last night. We lost uh, we lost one of our own. We lost uh, Spotty. Spotty, Spotty, it's unbelievable. Really, it was we still we still haven't processed the the whole thing. Spotty. <laughs> I rescued Spotty eight years ago. I had just arrived to, to Spain and someone uh, called me, one of our friends in Murcia, uh, Alicia, and told me that there was this little puppy that had a serious problem uh, and needed help. That dog had no knee. Apparently when, when he, was, uh, he was a little puppy, he, uh, he was injured uh, with his litters little mates and the knee got infected and this led to the bone disappearing so this doggy had no knee and he was in pretty bad shape so she gave him to us i took care of him uh, rehabilitated him we couldn't do anything with the knee because in those days we couldn't have a knee prosthesis still he did very well spotty ran happily uh, during all his life so I adopted Spotty. Spotty stayed with me and my dogs and he joined my family. Then uh, years later, about five years later, uh, Spotty started having seizures and uh, we started having problems at home because my dogs would pick up on his seizures and would attack him. So when I came home in the evening every night, uh, Spotty always had injuries and he'd been beaten by the others. So I thought, wow, we had to do something about this. So we took him to the vet to see what was happening with the scissors, what was the, the, the real cause. And Spotty had a condition called insulinoma. Insulinoma is a tumor that affects the pancreas. So it changes the way the body regulates insulin. And because of this, uh, when, when the dog gets off balance and then he has these uh, scissors. So we started treatment. Uh, Spotty moved onto the White House uh, where he could be in company all day while I was out working. So there would be no attacks. He was safe. Maribel took, uh, took amazing care of him. Uh, she, she's devastated today, as you can see. Anyway, so doctors told us that uh, insulinoma could be operated but that he will have a very short lifespan. We operated him once, he came out of surgery really well, running happily. Still, we knew the tumor was there, and, but we didn't know how long he was gonna live. So six, seven months later, uh, the tumor came back, and we had to take the decision to operate him again or not. But he was so happy, he was running around, he was just doing amazingly well, so we operated him again. And then we bought him another year of life. One year later, he needed to have another surgery, which we did. The surgery, I mean, when he came out of surgery, again, he was running happily, like if nothing happened. We bought Spotty four years of life. The vets said that he wasn't gonna make it past a couple of years. We doubled that. He lived for four more years, until yesterday. Yesterday, he felt really badly. He started convulsing. Uh, we took him to the hospital. Then he had another seizure, and then he had another seizure. And then two hours later, he had another seizure. And no matter what we did, we couldn't really stabilize him. So he will go on to seizures, recover a little bit, and then have another one, and then have another one. So last night at uh, 1.30 in the evening, uh, we just went to the hospital and, uh, and we ended uh, his suffering. He, he passed in her arms. Maribel was there. So was Jairo, my brother, Maribel's, uh, Maribel's husband, Martin, and my girlfriend. And Spotty left this world surrounded by people that truly love him and knowing that behind us there was an amazing community that has supported him for 
his entire life. Well, maybe he didn't know that, but I told him. Making a, making a big effort in trying to keep a straight face, Maribel is <coughs> struggling. Uh, and this is, uh, this is the situation here today. Nine years in total, uh, Spotty was with us. He had an amazing life. Yesterday when I went to bed crying, my girlfriend just told me this, think about it, you know, he had such a wonderful life. He never had a boring day in his entire life. He did so many things. He had a full life. And all of this well, because he lived with you. And in the end, you bought him four years, extra four years. Mi gordito. For a disease that uh, he just wouldn't have made it past the first few months. We will always, uh, we will always remember this amazing little dog. So happy, so friendly. He was the the center of this house. He was friends with everybody. He never had a problem with anybody. Everyone accepted him, uh, even with his condition. <laughs> they knew he was sick, and you know he made this beautiful place what it is. Today is a really sad day for us. Today there's uh, silence in this place. You can see it in the dogs. They are not, they know something's happening. They know someone is missing. Rest in peace, uh, Spotty. Oh. 